Parental discretion is advised. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, are you enjoying the Wrestling Mayhem Show? Are you finding value in these conversations? Do you want to support it so we can become even bigger? Check out patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show live from the Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh studios in Mayhem, PA. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. I think we're going to roll with that. Um, I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. is ready to talk uh, uh, wrestling with you guys. And with these guys right here uh, with me, uh, for one, is Mr. Bobby F. J-Town from the J-Town. Not the Riz. I didn't. His thing didn't save. Hello. Oh. Hi, Hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hi. I- I'm going to buy a Pikachu bed <laughs> and live in it. Yes, you can, hear that on, you can hear that on Boss Battle. <laughs> yes, you can. We had Mikey from uh, the Morning Freak Show here on Kiss, uh, locally in Pittsburgh, joining us. Uh, so that was pretty cool. He's having a, he's having a week for podcasts. He was just on the uh, yeah. the uh, Does This Stand Up uh, podcast as well. Mm-hmm. So Good also, times. also, this is from Poughkeepsie, New York. Is Mad Mike his uh, podcast number two of the night? I am on podcast number two and Box of Tissues number eight. Sorg. <laughs> Wait, but, um, it's been a long night. Oh You've my! Been draining those chakras. Yes. <laughs> also <laughs> with us, also with us from parts unknown, Pennsylvania, is DJ Lunchbox. What's up, everybody? I am also on podcast number two uh, of the evening, and uh, I drain my chakras into a bucket like a real man. Mm. Mm. So you can, you can. Have you ever marinated chicken in chakra juice? Wow. Good. I have out. actually. Then I use some JR barbecue sauce on it afterwards. Oh, I learned stuff. Hey, uh, check us out where you can learn things about the wrestling profession at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, YouTube, iHeartRadio, where we have friends on there as well um, for the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Um, well, please, we got friends please comment. <laughs> please star. Please uh, share with your friends. Uh, please so. So we can keep doing the show. Please um, rub us with your words. Please mm. love us. <laughs> you can also drop us a line to that email address at Good Times. Good Times at Wrestling Mayhem Show. Nice harmony, yeah, it was nice tonight. Beautiful. Or 412 206 WMS0. Find us at Mayhem Show on Twitter's Wrestling Mayhem Show, Wrestling Mayhem show on Google, Facebook, and the great Facebook group um also big thanks to basic sickness for the intro outro at basic sickness.com you can get some free tracks and the like and you can join us every tuesday at 9 30 p.m eastern time at live.sorgan no, wait 9 p.m eastern time at live.sorgatronmedia.com okay i guess it's a little late tonight but you maybe we'll get a little bit of video games so guys let's get right no not right into it wait we do have an email we do have an email we uh got a couple. So we got a couple. We do have a couple. Uh, yeah, why don't you get into say, that? Well, why don't you guys read through that while I prep our voicemail? Those emails are married. Mm. LB, LB, you want one? I'll t- I'm going to take that second one. Okay, go for it. All right. Hey, my name's Nadinka. <laughs> I rely to searching a correspondence with good person. Wait a minute. I, I'd want right to you with some regarding me. Different people have different interests. What? Try is some dance and some to read book. It helps to save the most important moments and emotions of life. I want to always have interesting communication with different people in my work. I am also eager to learn more and better about cooking to become excellent in it. Nice. My man is a very big problem because I think that mutual amour, trust, and understanding are the main parts in any contact. Is there a random French in there? It doesn't matter where your people lives, what language he speaks, what religion he has, what color of her eyes, what type of body he has, and so on. The most important is amour. 
Yes. Oh. I am looking for a guy to be comfortable enough with himself to express the passionate side of his soul. I got this you, one. You can answer to me, <laughs> and we can continue, can to continue our intercourse. Hope to see Whoa. your favor sent from my iPhone. Um, what, oh, what, 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 hold on, Bobby, oh, there's, oh, more. Okay. there's oh, more. Oh, there's more. There's more. Yeah. Este mensaje no contero virus ni malware porque la protección de Avast antivirus está activa www.avast.com. Um right. so so thank you LB for reading the probably not from real people emails we got this week. Wait 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 wait. wait I got a question though. Yeah, there was Wait, there was a question? Yes. Would her, would her favor mind sleeping in a Pikachu bed? <laughs> That's all I'm asking. Huh. Bobby, Bobby, if you sleep in a Pikachu bag, does that mean you're obliged to receive the shocker? It had oh my ah. Christ. It, it has a pouch. <laughs> for two people. Wouldn't that, be a ca- wouldn't that be a Wouldn't that be a Kangaskhan bed? Won't somebody join me in my Pikachu pouch to cuddle? Oh, oh yeah, we'll absolutely <laughs> spoon you in your Pikachu bed. Thank you. Thank you. You're gonna have to listen to Boss Battle uh, 114 from tonight if you want to hear more about the Pikachu bed. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I won't mention the Pikachu bed. Anymore. Um. Okay, <laughs> we did get a voice email. Um. That. Well, there was, there was a, another, there's email. another email. There's, there's another actually. Email. I don't know what's going on. Okay, go <laughs> ahead. Take read, it away, guys. I read this one? Go for it. Dear Mayhem. There is no reason for Michael Cole to, to exist. Love, Isaac G. <laughs> the end. Wait, wait. So should we... One, that's not a question. Um, <laughs> this, is guy, this is a guy who hates MMA. Is it? Yeah, I remember so he wrote right. in and said, fuck MMA. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That was right. it. So should we take a, an effort to defend Michael Cole and find uh, the reason for him to exist? Uh, he no. can grow some pretty sweet facial hair. But he doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't. <laughs> he did at one point, though. Yeah, but he doesn't, and that's why he should be. Guys, c- can we just be serious for a minute here? Um, Absolutely. We you could think try. Michael Cole likes a Pikachu bed. <laughs> <laughs> he's a war correspondent. He, yeah, I was gonna say he's a war correspondent, and he deserves our damn respect. Oh. Okay. I, no, wow. no, I'm, just, and I'm, I'm just kidding. He <laughs> he is undefeated at WrestleMania. He is. We can't forget that. He has the new streak. <laughs> the new streak is the new streak. Yep, the new streak. That's it. It's and him he, and the shield. That's and he was it. legitimately concerned about his friend Jerry Lawler that one night that we must forget about. <laughs> that one. Just that, just that one. <laughs> just night. that one night. Any other time, fuck that guy. But that one night, he was really, really concerned. Well, that's what turned him face. He was heel, and then he turned face after that. Yeah, seriously, it was like there's no going back now. You can't turn heel because you were concerned about your friend's well being. <laughs> Wrestling's real weird, right, guys? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Woo! That's so weird. Wow. <laughs> so voicemail. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm writing notes. I'm doing show notes as I'm going. Um. <laughs> anyways, uh, no, we did get a voicemail. Uh, it was sent uh, uh, via email, but it has the highest of quality, which I'll now play over my phone because I don't have a thing. It's being weird. It's being weird. Um, so here we go from Dustin. Even happening. <laughs> Maybe. Dustin. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Let me fix it. Dear Mayhem Nation. Provocation. It's Dustin. And I'm sending you an audio contribution this week because of one reason. Rizicles. That's right. I wanted to say Rizicles on the air. It will be Rizicles. Hell, it's always been Rizicles. It will never change because Rizicles is somebody that I love dearly. Now, Bound for Glory happened this week, and um, I'm pretty sure that I got exactly what I expected because going into this, I didn't expect some big payoff to a culmination of a feud. I expected nothing but high-quality matches, and I think that they delivered that between Manic versus Tanaka and the highly entertaining EC3 versus the sumo Rikishi Hama and Kaz Hayashi versus Joe versus Loki. What a throwback to the old-school X-Division hecticness. I think that for what I expected going in they delivered 
And I think that's probably because I didn't expect much out of this thing to begin with. But what are your thoughts? Did y'all get a chance to check it? Now, I'm done for now. I just wanted to say risicles, risicles, risicles. Corn dog, 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 ham slam, slam, ham slam, slam, ham, ham slam, slam, ham slam, 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 ham slam, ham slam, ham slam, slam, ham slam, ham slam, slam, ham. Dustin, gone. <laughs> wow, that was, that was, that was, that was amazing. That was the best audio uh, contribution I think I've ever heard. That's right. amazing. Um, um, first, first point of order before we address his actual question: Yes, the ham slam thing is uh, from EC3 at Bound for Glory. Yes, <laughs> yeah. If you haven't seen Bound for Glory, that's uh, that's for EC3. And I highly right. recommend it. I did get a chance to catch it today. Um, and it was it was a fun show. Um, my initial comment is that is the coolest indie show I've seen in a while. <laughs> yeah, it it was a great house show for Russell. Warren. I don't and I don't I don't mean that as a slam, but ham the slam. reason why <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that as a ham slam, but um, the reason that I will go to an ROH show sight unseen. Um, if I haven't watched TV for six months is like the reason I would watch bound for glory again under those circumstances because they deliver, you know, um, now, Sorg, I have a question though. Yeah. Um, how much would you have paid for bound for glory? Um, because TNA was charging 50 bucks. for bound That was for 50 glory. bucks for that thing. 50 bucks. Wow. See, and we really kind of revealed that, our hand there, didn't we? That's where my issue comes into it. Because uh, while it was a fun show, yeah, it ultimately, A, means nothing in terms of the overall TNA product. And it was, it was just... It's not a $50 show. It's, a, it's a, maybe a $15 DVD. Yep, or $9.99. But um, like Dustin was saying that the reason he liked it so much was because he had no expectations and that's not good for your wrestlemania no no it isn't it for. isn't although i gotta say you know one one idea i didn't have out of this and again i think a lot of things got convoluted because of the situation tna finds itself in now um but i feel like remember how we t- we discussed at length I'm sure, and I can't remember if this is on podcast or at a wedding over the weekend while we were drinking, to be honest. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> we will talk about that a little later, too. Um, but tonics. But the <laughs> man, discoveries all over the place. Oh, I'm going to start drinking them nightly. <laughs> <laughs> I have some absolute on my desk upstairs, actually. Anyways, no, 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 no. Um, it's going to be a good night. Um. Lana so approved. so we we, we <laughs> no, 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 I gotta no, the give podcasts are gonna get my It's gonna be Sork screaming for <laughs> every episode. <laughs> Sork's gonna be upstairs doing his Lana impression. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Um, <laughs> but we we discuss how TNA needs to yeah, be Sork. not a WWE yeah, junior. Say it like Lana. T- <laughs> Shut up! Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll shut up. <laughs> Shut will up. you will you shut up or will you shut up? Shut mm-hmm. up. There's a point in here. Um, <laughs> TNA, <laughs> TNA needs to stop doing WWE things. They're trying to be WWE Junior, and they need to stop saying Bound for Glory is their WrestleMania because the fact that they're trying to make it look like their WrestleMania makes it makes makes a guarantee that it will fail in comparison to how WrestleMania looks. They don't have a WrestleMania. They don't have a WrestleMania. They don't need a WrestleMania. They're, they're not Nobody kind of can have a WrestleMania. There's only one WrestleMania. What you can have is a Bound for Glory. And a Bound for Glory, Bound for Glory will do what the Bound for Glory does best, which this this year was um, being a crossover with Japan. Now, maybe this could turn into something cool. Uh, again, not experience. There's a bit head shake on, on Mike over there. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> do you want to know why this won't turn into anything cool? Because everything's pre-taped. I understand. They have nothing else this year year sword i'm not listen the rest of the year is written off for me obviously it's a lame duck year for the rest sword, of that after that they have no tv deal they have a, exactly so it's a lame duck whatever happens in the next three months it's gonna be really hard if you're a diehard tna fan whoever's left 
Okay. Um, but wouldn't it be cool if when they came back, was it with some kind of deal and they had more Wrestle 1 crossover? What if TNA became the, the import of Wrestle 1 in America? And the extension of Wrestle 1 in America. And we kept getting this crossover sort of situation. Maybe it's something different. Well, they do tape two months in advance or something. Um, and, and they became something completely different. I, I think that they don't even need that. Because they have talent. But they, they have talent that... <sighs> They have talent. It's not. It's not a well. How much of their talent has doesn't have a contract that runs through the end of the year? For one thing, um, and they and the talent that they've had hasn't gotten up good ratings, and the talent they had hasn't hasn't you know made them competitive. And and I know you can. Whoa, my microphone. Uh, oh no. Shut up. Um, and, and I know you can discuss, well, well, it's their decisions and everything, but yeah, yes, but everything's being considered, I'm sure. Um, but what, you know, either way, they need to do something different. But than I they've think been they doing. need a better storyline product first. They need a better because product from no, top to no. bottom. They need yeah, a better but, product, but, whether that's wrestling or storyline, that brings people in. If they're having a great wrestling that's bringing people in, then then they'd be Ring of Honor for one thing. Uh, but sorry, they, they do have good wrestling on the show. Okay. That, does, I, that doesn't bump the rating. No. I, I enjoyed the Jennifer Tilly versus Gina Gershon match. Oh, wait. God, I watched, God <laughs> damn it. Uh, yeah. Did I watch the wrong That's thing? Great match. Yes, you, uh, you was, watch Glory for Bound. I used to watch, it was, it was I used still, to watch it was, that match all the time, like was, back in like high school and middle school. <laughs> Oddly <laughs> enough, it was still $50 on pay-per-view. I <laughs> jobbed out to that match pretty quickly. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I think new, new talent being brought into TNA, Wrestle 1 or AAA or whatever, will not help their rating unless they actually improve the on-screen presentation of their product. Like, they need storylines that make sense. They need logical, consistent booking. They need new people that are already in their company, like, brought to the forefront, not the same people. They need to improve that aspect of their product before bringing in new people will actually do anything to change how many people watch it. Like yeah. the, the the best one of the best things going in wrestling, EC three, he should be their champion, first and foremost, because he makes every segment that he's in on TNA extremely watchable and better than most of WWE stuff that they're putting out right now. This is true. This is true. Um and, and plus he's charismatic. You can send him on a media tour mm -hmm. and he will put over TNA like no one's business. He's the guy that should be all over their commercials. He's the guy that should be talking up in TNA. He should be their John Cena, really. Um it, it, it something to bring people in. But but again, like Hulk Hogan didn't bring people in like they thought. Sting didn't bring Hulk people Hogan in like they thought. Hulk Hogan didn't actually promote TNA. Hulk Hogan promoted Hulk Hogan. Yep. That's true. Brother. That's true. But still, he's attached to it. He's on all the posters. You know, he's whenever they do lives and tapings, you know, or at least the tapings. Uh, and, and what did that bring in? It, it certainly didn't help with their their uh, ill-fated Monday Night War they did for two weeks. Um, but I don't know. It's uh, they have to do something different. And I think that's something different they could do. Um, I, I'm, I'm more just kind of, you know, putting the theory out there. What if they did become like this gateway for, for Japan? You know, this isn't just like the latest fad of, you know, Ring of Honor just did something with with the uh, up in Toronto uh, a few months ago. And then we have this, you know, uh, what if it became a a kind of open, you know, back and forth between them and Wrestle One? There's a consistent uh, exchange or maybe would it be cool if there was a promotion that they just did like half their shows here and half their shows in Wrestle One in Japan? And yes, everything's going to pre be pre-taped, but that's what they can do with their their budget or whatever right and we're back to just having a studio show ring of honor tapes their stuff like four weeks at a time you know why can't tna be in one of those i think they've proven they can uh just with this weird live event stuck in the middle but again they're kind of in an atypical situation with this contract nxt tapes their stuff four weeks in advance too exactly 
Tina but, has, I mean, has another problem, though, um, aside from just, you know, everything you guys just mentioned. They have a branding problem. They do. Like, the name TNA is a toxic thing now. It's, are, it's, got are, many, it's had bad connotations for too long. Or are they Impact Wrestling? That's the that's see that's their other problem. They were try they were almost going in the right direction when they called themselves Impact Wrestling, but they didn't stick with it. They just kind of like hemmed and hawed and like we're Impact Wrestling, oh we're TNA Wrestling, oh we're both. You're not fucking both. Yeah, if you look I mean, if you look at their Twitter they, account, they, I think it tells a story. It. If you look at their Twitter account, it's at Impact Wrestling, but the name is TNA Wrestling. No, yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah, the they name need to, they TNA. Need to, has never worked for them. They because, need because to people who don't know what it is, it will always mean tits and ass. Yeah, they need to change it to something spooky for Halloween. <laughs> Twitter, just their Twitter account, though, like everybody else is doing. <laughs> I don't know, but it was a good show, mired in everything else that's going on with TNA. Unfortunately, um, no, it's really good. It was really cool to see those those guys featured. Um, I saw that low key and, and, and DJ Z were on an explosion match. How is that yeah. explosion worthy? I don't know. Because those people aren't being promoted on TV, Sorg. I guess so. I guess so. Um, Sorg, th- when I was in the New York tapings, there was a really, really fun match between Rockstar Spud and Crazy Steve, where Rockstar Spud decided to do a sit in because he didn't want to wrestle. Mm hmm. It was fantastic, and I kept waiting to see that one on TV. And nope, it's explosion. You can tell by the light change. They don't change the lights. Oh, they used to. Nope they 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 don't do jack. Oh, they don't do jack. That's unfortunate. They didn't change the ring skirts. They didn't do anything. Also, I I there there's a bit of a debate on the Twitter about Bound for Glory this weekend with the Wrestle 1 logo being in the center of a TNA pay-per-view. Um, it was a partnership. I think it's okay. I It bothers me. It Because bo- it's not a Wrestle 1 pay-per-view. No. They didn't even mention Wrestle 1, like the company, at all on Impact. Well, they didn't need to. <laughs> they probably should have if... If it's like a real partnership, and if it's a real TNA versus Wrestle One thing, like I don't know, it just bothers me. It's supposed to be like it's a TNA pay per view. You would never have like a WWE pay per view with someone else's logo in the middle of the ring. Well, because WWE doesn't need to do partnerships. Although they they have had like Boston Guard and MSG logos in the ring in the past. Um, okay, but you would never have Ring of Honor do the same thing. When Ring of Honor had their crossover event, was there a Ring of Honor logo in the center of the ring? Who they cross I'm over sure with? Who, what crossover are you thinking? Like uh, Chikara? They a, no, they did one with a Japanese company not too long ago. In Japan? No, it was in Canada, I think. Then why would they? They're not. They're not on their turf. <laughs> Japanese company in Canada. Mm-hmm. It was a. That, you know, I forget what cro- what crossover was. I'm no, no. I mean, for this, I mean, that obviously, this is sense. this this is the way th- this part of the business works. It's just um, like you do a partnership with a company like this, with the wrestling company, and and they Wrestle One promoted that show. Wrestle One booked, not booked, but booked the venue, set up that, brought their ring, all that stuff. So TNA doesn't have to go pay for that stuff. And by the way, I love the size of that arena. It works for them. It's it's big enough. It doesn't look like they're trying to be bigger than they are. Um, they're not good about covering up those venues that aren't getting filled like a Ring of Honor is. Ring of Honor only brought like maybe six to 800 people to that Wheeling, West Virginia arena. And you actually do. Uh, this is the first time watching a Ring of Honor this week um, that I saw empty seats because they cover them usually. They're, you know, they, they do something different that they're not shooting those angles. They, you see where the people are, not where the people aren't. Um, so I, I don't know. That always that's always like kind of a finicky as a sticking point for me, because, um, you know, you don't have to fill every seat, but you don't have to show the empty ones. Uh, Smackdown, really good for it. How many, you know, how many times have you gotten moved for a Smackdown taping because uh, they want to blank out those seats on the on the camera side? Right. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there is a, there's a lot of attention to that. Um, and, and TNA is there, like I said, it's the right size venue. Uh, I know it's a different audience with, 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 uh, uh, the Japanese, 
over there. Um, but I don't know what, maybe they're just, maybe they have really good foreign TV market over there too. So I don't know. Um, either way, we'll see. I mean, this was their big, there's th- this felt like it was the last of their obligations, right? They really don't have to do much more, but deliver those shows that they already taped. Um, so I, I'm, I'll put the an announcement soon. I, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. So if anything happens, if anything happens, you think they're just going to fade away here at the end of the year? I, I hope something happens, but yeah. I honestly, because unless they improve greatly, the product that they're showing on TV, I don't think the thing is, is the rating is still a good rating for cable. But it hasn't improved at all since they started. Yeah. But it's consistent. I mean, that, that's, that's the thing. It's not, it's stagnant. It's whatever, like, if you're, if you're going to buy that and all you want is the rating that they have now, okay, God bless. But if they are selling that based on that they're going to try and get more people, mm-hmm. like going to a network that is less, like, exposure like spike tv is really big exposure if they went to like ion or wgn or whatever not as many people get that i feel like that's like the fox sports phase like hey you can watch it on this now it's like no you know your fans could watch it easier at the time than buying pay-per-views from week to week but who's really getting exposed to it at three in the afternoon on friday yep you know um i yeah i i can't imagine another network on that level I want to say maybe they take on AMC. AMC just dumped the uh, the the Billy Corrigan reality wrestling show. Maybe AMC will take it over. AMC was rumored to want to buy WWE or something. You know, uh, AMC shows good shows. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a- AMC has good writing. They wouldn't want TNA to. Hey, maybe they'll improve it. Maybe they'll put something into it. You know, maybe they'll Billy have a little Corrigan bit of a mandate on it. Politely. What's that, Bobby? Billy Corrigan, smiling politely. Smiling politely. <laughs> without That's a home reference. for his show. Anyways. Um, hey, guys. I want to give a shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway. SliceOnBroadway.com. Feeding our, pe- our, our, our people in the studio here in Beachview in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. They're right along the T-line here uh, if you're in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Or uh, if you go by Carnegie on your way out to the airport, they're on the main street down there. So please check them out. Give them a shout. Follow them on the social media. Tell them you heard about them on the Wrestling Mayhem show. And even if you're not around like Mad Mike, you can be like, hey, man, I wish I was around like Mad Mike isn't. Um, and and have your pizza. Uh, so <laughs> I want pizza. Or, or Bobby. Or Bobby FJ Town. You know, he wants the pizza. You want, want pizza. that pizza, Bobby? I want pizza. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get back with it. <laughs> Um, we got a couple other things to talk about here. Um, I mean, I'm getting past all the Spanish stuff still in there. Um, one interesting story that popped up. Speaking of venues and stuff, SummerSlam coming into New Jersey. Yay! Boo! It's New Jersey. What do you hate New Jersey for? Well, it's New Jersey. Everybody loves New Jersey. Oh, Bobby, are you from some weird alternate Earth? <laughs> yes. I am from Earth 616. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They Where hate New Jersey there too. Oh, okay. I am from Earth too. Oh, oh. So so yeah, so so this is the first time in I don't know how many years that SummerSlam is not gonna be in LA. Okay. All right. I guess like you know, it, it does kind of make sense, doesn't it? Because WrestleMania is gonna be out west this year, and SummerSlam was kind of LA's WrestleMania every year or whatever right yeah, switching uh, it up yeah mm-hmm. switching it up a little bit um i, I kind of uh, like it our hopes for a uh, uh, pittsburgh wrestlemania uh, well, well well yeah there's that that one guy said that that one oh, year <laughs> <laughs> yes like, wrestlemania is coming yes he's an expert i'm sure um <laughs> that's when they were building console <laughs> yeah when they're building console i don't think they're putting it in console um i couldn't even imagine uh them doing it the other way I'm sorry, my guess is the other way. What? Yeah, like yeah, in yeah. the basement of the console. What are you talking about? Yeah, oh, oh like Heinz Field. It. Heinz Field. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> splitting too many things here. Um, what if they have it down at Forbes Field? <laughs> <laughs> have it at the old uh, gardens. Boring yeah, twenties. Sure. Have it at PNC just to be different. Mm. <laughs> they are going to reconstruct cool, cool. Three River Stadium. Yes. <laughs> and make it happen. 
the Point Stadium in Johnstown, <laughs> <laughs> which is a dump. Oh, no. No, they're going to have it at that crazy place in uh, uh, fucking um, down by Irwin that always has, like, Kenny Rogers. And <laughs> the Palace? Is that what it's the called? The Palace Theater in Greensburg. Greensburg, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting hyper-local for you guys. Oh, on the yeah. Podcast. I'm there. sorry. That's, that's I'm sorry. <laughs> Mike, 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 quick. Play, uh, uh, name something obscure in, in upstate New York. The oh, that'll balance it out. The what? The Mid-Hudson, the Mid-Hudson Civic Center. No, that's a landmark. Come on. How is no? It's a landfill, Sorg. I've been there. <laughs> Tommy you went Dreamer to... runs out of that now. Come oh on. no! The oh, next no. WrestleMania will be held at FAO Schwartz. That would actually be awesome. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. That'd be amazing. I, I just be... have it in that fucking like train station. They had that one episode of Jacked or whatever in. <laughs> that was in Penn Station. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where that is. Nobody knows what that is. You've been there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I showed you the what? exact escalator. What? That... Never that, mind. That kid's on the escalator again. <laughs> <laughs> that Undertaker's on the escalator again. Oh, no. Oh, no. But, yeah, so Izod Bobby, sucks. get off. Bobby, get off the escalator. <laughs> I- Izod sucks. Still stairs for your convenience. Why does Izod suck? It, it's supposed to be a pretty good arena, right? <laughs> I No, it's a fine arena, but... It's not SummerSlam New York, New Jersey. It's SummerSlam in New Jersey. They've had SummerSlam in Jersey before. Do you want SummerSlam to be on the line? You could have it in Barclays. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm. This is me. I'm guessing after that Raw in Brooklyn where people like booed Joan London for having cancer. Oh. They're like, Aww. okay. John yeah, that, nice. that was a real thing. That was a real thing that happened. They're like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't put SummerSlam in Brooklyn. Like I wouldn't be surprised if they were trying to book both. And then I heard Brooklyn was kind of tough for the Ring of Honor um, field show too. Yeah, it's because Brooklyn's full of douchebags. Yeah. Well, when I hear Izod Center, I think of that Simpsons meme. Tis tis a fine shirt, but tis no arena. (laughs) What, What? Bobby? (laughs) I don't know. It just made me think of the Izod shirts, and I was like. Tis no tis arena. Fine shirt, but there's no arena. Oh yeah, because it's the Amish guy. And yeah, like, the, the, tis a fine barn, but there's no, no pool. pool. English. There's no yeah, pool that's English. what I thought of. Yeah, I like it. I like a good obscure Simpsons reference. I digress, well, but I, I digress. Mean, I, I thought Sarah. The last time they had a big event there was the Raw after WrestleMania 29, which was when Ziggler won the world title and all that. Mm. So, you know, it has a bit of. I guess historical reference for WWE, but I don't know. It's still Jersey. I, I, I don't. I don't like them promoting New York, New Jersey when it's definitely New Jersey. True, true. And maybe there's going to be some events around that too. You never know. Uh, oh. Maybe they're going to expand their their fan fest. It's not going to be well. Their fan fest can't be at Izod because they're nope. using it. Yeah, maybe. because that's where the that's where the WrestleMania fan fest was. Yeah, like, if they want to do the fan fest at the Jacob Javits Center where New York Comic Con was, I'd be okay with that. Okay, here's the plan. They're going to reopen WWE New York. <laughs> They're going to go WrestleMania. Goodbye, goodbye, Hard Rock. They're yeah, going to go They're going to go WrestleMania three style and only show it on closed circuit television in three different locations. I'd watch it. Or was that WrestleMania two? That was WrestleMania two. Two. I okay. I think it's one through three. No, no, it's two. No, no. I, I, yeah, I, I, I mixed up the, the first. It was the first fourteen WrestleMania. The first fourteen yeah, WrestleMania. But it's, Slam, but it's going to be SummerSlam, and that's what they're going to do. For only nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much tickets are. Shit, I'm buying yeah, eighty. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, on that note, let's take a break. We'll come back here. We got remember when coming up, and this week we're gonna. I remember when. What is it? It's. Uh, let me tell you. Tell me your favorite international incidents. We had Bound for Glory and all this stuff happened with Rusev. What are your favorite foreign uh, incidents? When we come back, uh, in the meantime, check out all of our stuff over at sorgatronmedia.com slash store. We got a lot of new stuff, including Bloody Harvest 6. A woman, a mother gets pile driven in the ring. You got to check it out. Um, also, Prime Cuts, Johnny Gargano, a coming of age part one. It's a two disc set and it's part one. Uh, from our friends at uh, Outsource Announcing, Joe-Dombrowski.com. Get the DVD there, digital download with us. 
go there and check it out. And if you're on video, you're going to get a quick teaser of that in a moment. And of course, we got all kinds of great stuff. Videos starting at 99 cents, including single matches, full shows in some cases from the Vicious Outcast Wrestling, International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, Prime Wrestling, Documentaries, Dustin Batdorf, Invitational, all kinds of cool stuff going on. So check out this and check out the site. We'll be right back. Hi, everyone. Do you like video games? Do you like reading about video games? Do you like listening to podcasts about video games? Why don't you check out insertcointobegin.com? New articles going up daily, and you can check out our podcast, with Boss Battle, on sorgatronmedia.com. Amigos, you're listening to the Wrestling Rehab Show. And in case you forgot, my name is Armando Alejandro Estosumi. Hey! Oh, hey guys, check that out. SorgatronMedia.com for all the cool stuff coming up. And please sign up for the Sorgatron Media newsletter. You can get updates about the podcast, about our friends at InsertCoinToBegin.com with a weekly digest of uh, their stories, uh, as well as all the updates on DVDs coming out uh, here in the future. And you also, right now, if you sign up, you get a free copy, a free digital download of RWA's Unleashed um, for, with a cage match between Ryan Edmonds and, and Ryan Mitchell. Dive in that. If you haven't checked it out, you get a free copy. You get to check it out for free. Uh, a great show from that promotion. Speaking of, hey, joining us is a, a few people uh, jumping on. Uh, you know, we always jump into it and you just kind of guys show up and that doesn't help anybody on audio. But Eamon 2, please, my co-host from the Indie Mayhem show is on. How you doing, sir? From San Antonio, Antonio Texas. San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio. San Antonio. Antonio. <laughs> I'm doing fine. I'm doing, I'm doing good. Sorry. Good, good, good. And we got it. We're actually doing an interview later tonight with Jimmy DeMarco, if you remember him from this show. Also. Speaking of, we're talking about indies in between. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, he's right, Sorg. He's right. Yeah. Hot I Wheels did. RWA on the Twitter. Is, uh, Wheels joins us from the Renegade Wrestling Alliance, where they're I just survived the weekend. We're just pow driving. There, they're just pow driving old ladies and invalids all weekend. <laughs> Watch your ass. Pow driving. <laughs> Wait, did you say pow driving old ladies and insulin? No, I, I said invalids. Invalids! Just because oh, I needed oh, an I additional. But, and also with us is <laughs> that the would be Riz. Riz does Riz things, like size on, on, on wait, audio. Wait, 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 great for the audio. And he no, also... No, no, no. And, and, no. and, wait, wait, let me do a part two. Lord, let me do Lord, a part two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Riz, Riz, right who now. also... <laughs> Riz, who also will stick it out and do a solo after show of the midweek NXT yeah, TNA Wars yeah. Thanks, and, Aiden and Mad Mike and do um, a one and host a one on one wrestling game show because that shit and needs to Bobby be done. Bobby SJ Town and yes. Wheels and Sorg. Lunchbox, you're okay. Was, Thanks, bro. Was, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Why don't I get special accommodation when I had to do a solo? Because nobody cares. <laughs> because, because you didn't hear the pain. Because you didn't hear the breakdown that Riz God, went through yeah. at the end of his. Aiming points. Anyways, anyways, let's get awesome. to it. Remember when? Oh, I got, I got a singing song. <laughs> I always forget about singing a song, but now I'm singing a song about Rebecca Wayne. Great all right song. thanks nice and short to the but i mentioned in this in international incidents but i believe we've had this discussion to an extent before um so i'm not talking about yoko zuna getting slammed on the on the on the aircraft carrier or anything like that how about we're talking about this week we had the biggest of crossovers with bound for glory happening with wrestle one whether you liked it or not if you like the name on the ring or not that's beside the point but what are some good wrestling crossovers international crossovers you really dug throughout the years there's been plenty of them um and uh and i, I think we'll have some interesting uh interesting co- callbacks for this one who wants to go first i want to go first <gasps> Let's oh. go. go first go <laughs> somebody drop something <laughs> not me 1997 God <laughs> damn it 19- oh, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby was like that. I know exactly. That's Bobby the was year I was, was going for. Bobby, Bobby that was a big year. Uh, that was a big uh, year. Oh no! 
WWF Royal Rumble. Oh, no. For whatever reason, Vince McMahon decided they didn't have enough people on the roster, oh, and they okay. brought in a bunch of Mexicans. Oh, you uh, <laughs> I know exactly where you're going with this. I love it. And I, I'm, not, I'm not, like, trying to be racist. They literally brought in a large amount of Mexican wrestlers. Uh, Pero Agüero Jr. Uh, uh, wrestled. Uh, Mosco de la Merced wrestled. Octagon Blue Demon Jr., um, Abismo Negro and Hysteria. Uh, what? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, hey, you're not muted. Goddamn nose. I hit the <laughs> button. I'm sorry. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it was a Mexican fiesta horn. Anyway, um, these a lot of these wrestlers also wrestled in the, the Royal Rumble match, which was a lot of fun. Um, but I'm pretty sure that they, the announcers were just – Making up names uh, because they're like, we don't know this person's real name, so we're going to call them Latin Lover. <laughs> well, okay, two points. Oh, oh, Amy's going to tell me now that Latin Lover actually is that wrestler's name. Yeah, it is a, that's his I'm name. An like, ignorant white man. That's my first point. The second point, and the assumed reason why I believe they had all the luchadors uh, at that event was, I believe it was in San Antonio, Texas at the Alamo Dome. Uh-huh. Yes. So crossover with Lucha Libre and, and all that kind of kind of stuff. And that was also when WCW was starting the cruiserweight division. So Vince was like, "Oh my God, we desperately need flippy guys on our show." And then they saw the flippy guys they had, and they were like, "Nope." <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's mine. Awesome. What about you, Mike? I uh, first of all, I apologize. I did hit the mute button. I don't know why it slipped off. I no, had no, to go blow ahead. my nose. Go ahead. Uh, go so ahead. um. <laughs> God damn it, I know what's going to happen. All right, um, I am going to say when uh, we had the NWO Japan come into WCW, when the NWO <laughs> had already been... <laughs> 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 Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, God, I've been broken in half. <laughs> sorry, God. That Somehow to come I don't back, believe you know. that. Sorry. <laughs> I, 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 hope I don't. don't I don't know if I buy that. Um, <laughs> I hope we don't get Ebola from this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Ebola cast two thousand. Amen. Amen is from Texas, so oh, 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 that's where they grow Ebola on the trees. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, the like the NWO had gotten so oh. good at that point that the only place NWO Sting could wrestle was in Japan, and there would be the whole NWO Japan wrestling like in New Japan and all Japan, and all that stuff, which is odd because the very idea for NWO was taken from a Japan from a Japanese wrestling federation in the first place, so it became very meta to send the NWO Japan over. But yeah, that, that's what I was mm-hmm. thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, guys, can I get? A little bit indie wrestling with you guys. Okay. Can, can sure. Amen, sure. Amen. Am I would. clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that. All right. Yeah. Um my 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 memory, this this is this has scarred my memory. I had suppressed it for so long, but thanks to Joe Dombrowski, uh they're doing a, the two hundredth uh, uh edition oh, of International mean. Wrestling Cartel is happening this weekend. And there's this great uh, uh IWC two hunts that they're, they're, it's all dawning on them. Um there's this great uh, list that oh. Joe Dabrowski and Jesse. Are <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So there's this great list over there, and one of them. Well, you know what? I won't tell you which list this is on. Um, but but the list, and I'll just read. Joe Dabrowski is going to put a better place than I can. I think some of you were in attendance with me when this happened. Um. Except no limitations in 2007 makes everyone feel all weird. <clears throat> he says, oh. he says, uh, we'll, uh, I'm sorry, uh, young Japanese standout Nakatako Maribe faced off against yeah. American no, Balloon. For those yeah. unfamiliar with Balloon, this one time morbidly obese young man lost a staggering amount of weight to get into wrestling shape, what left them with. Well, a lot of extra space that wasn't filled. With loose skin jiggling and dangling in every which direction, it was a unique sight to behold, and a circumstance Maribe didn't hesitate to use to his advantage when it came to, well, getting a grasp on the situation. 
biggest titty twister you've ever seen, basically. Uh, Secondly, oh, yeah. in the same, I believe it was the same night, um, yeah. we saw the first and only appearance of the Shoku yeah. Dino. Yes. Dino, I like, I like that Eamon's, like, checking. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, Eamon, uh, Eamon, you don't uh, have to right. say, I know who that wrestler yes, is. Those we, just, <laughs> we just assume that you know who all the wrestlers are. I'm just like, I'm just if you need pronunciation, because I know the pronunciation. He's checking me. No, that's fine. He's checking me. He's checking you're me. You're ignorant white man. So, <laughs> <laughs> do you know, like many before him, uh, was such was was such as an Adrian Adonis or Goldust uses sexuality yeah. and shock yeah. value as a form of mind games on opponents. With Japanese culture a bit different than the U.S., Dino was uh, was used to taking those mind games in much further extreme uh, when he competed in Japan. Combine that with the fact that Dino was in a six-man tag match that included Eric Ecstasy, yep. who, by the way, was in a tag team called Sexual Harassment, mm. by the way. Mm-hmm. Um Spoiler alert, Dan Shoku Dino loves sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, uh, I remember at one point he delivered a power driver on Jason Gory with Jason Gory's head in his trunks. Mm-hmm. Yep. I remember that. Show. I think I was there for that. I, I think you were too, Mike. I think that was one of those nights me and you yelled back and forth. I, I believe so, and I won. Oh no, I won. I remember <laughs> talking to Gory afterwards, and he has not been the same since, I don't think. So <laughs> that explains it. So that's mine. That was definitely an incident, and it was international. So this is why we love indie wrestling. We're sometimes <laughs> stay away. Uh, who wants to go next? I got one. Okay. Oh. All right. We're going to go back all the way back to WCW New Blood Rising on oh, August 13th, geez. 2000. Where Lance Storm was defending his United States Heavyweight Championship against Mike Awesome. He was screwed by the referee Jacques Rougeau. And semi retired Canadian Bret Hart came out and hugged both Storm and Rougeau, thus creating Team Canada. They're Canadian, they're foreign. That's my remember when. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, need, no need to say more. Riz? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Um, I'm also going indie independent here. Um, in the world of Shikara, there's there's a list of characters, and nothing beats the Estonian Thunder Thunder Frog. <laughs> rest in peace. Uh, the Did Latvian I? the Latvian Proud Oak, kayfabe, mm-hmm. and the Lithuanian Snow Troll. I, I really don't know why you have to say kayfabe before that. He is an actual tree. No, no. I was saying kayfabe, I was saying kayfabe to Bobby, who thought he, he died. died. <laughs> oh. But yeah, those three alone are a reason to watch Shakara. I'm just an ignorant white man. <laughs> oh, Bobby, no. Uh, Bobby, no. Uh, oh, uh, Eamon, show title. You, Eamon, you didn't go, right? No. No, no, no. That's not the show title. Hell no. No. Uh, 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 Eamon? Uh, I didn't do it this time. Uh, <laughs> not yet. I think I think Shocker. all the I think all the Sorgatron media shows across the board should be Pikachu bed. <laughs> Amen, uh, please. Please. Amen, please. 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 <laughs> you vaguely remember that. Yeah, whipping <laughs> forks all over the place. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm let's sorry, make one go. second. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't make any noise. He didn't make noise. I'm sorry. For the, for the audio um, and listeners, he blew his nose on his own thing. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, the there was a stable back when I got into wrestling called the Un-Americans, um, yes. which I I is I can. Remember, test test is from America, right? Nope. Uh, no, nope. test is Canadian. Test is Canadian. Test French. is Canadian. Yeah, test is French. I, like they're only they were only like vaguely like from other places. Like you could, like I, I don't think you'd ever look at test and be like, oh, he's a Canadian or Christian even or you know, 
So only like Landstorm and like William Regal were like the vague, you know, sort of ones. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I don't really remember what they did. I think they had a like, short feud with The Undertaker. They feuded like, with The Undertaker and uh, with Hulk Hogan and Edge too, I believe. Mm. Makes sense. But yeah. <laughs> Nothing that stuck, stood out, but they yeah. existed. There you go. <laughs> uh, Wheels, you got one? Uh, I hope WCW. I didn't take yours. Let me try that again. <clears throat> WCW. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> put a little, put a little bass in that voice. <laughs> Motherfucker, WCW. <laughs> no treble. Uh, uh, the Latino world. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's no, all I have. That, was, that was the good one. I did oh, like the Latino was, World Order. The, the Mexicals was the best. On, on this question, name the members of the Latino World Order. Because I can oh, only Conan. Conan. Eddie Guerrero. Conan. Guerrero, Psychosis. El Dandy. Drew, Latin lover. Who and Derek Guerrero? I think he actually <laughs> might have been. Super Great Porky. Theory. Super Porky. Super Calo. <laughs> Super Calo was there. Um, El Turino. <laughs> was Laparca in it? I'm, yeah, yeah, Park yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. <laughs> was there disco uh, in the LWO at some point? There you was, go. Was, a picture. No, <laughs> no, no, legitimately, wasn't Disco Inferno part of them? Uh, no. Okay, the official. Here, wiki, <laughs> I coined the wiki. Oh, he wikied it. <laughs> His yeah, duck was. Yeah, I wanted to be official. The official list was Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, Human Tooth Guerrero, Psychosis, La Parca, El Dandy, Silver King, Super Calo, Volano 5. Dude, Damien Pope, Hector Garza, and Spider, who was their bodyguard. Wait, who was, was Damien <laughs> so, Sandow? Damien Sandow. said Damien Sandow? No, no. Damien yeah. Sandow can be anything. <laughs> so trip away. <laughs> wow, wow. Did we miss anybody, guys? Anybody, anybody still need to go? Is everybody all right? Let us know your international incidents. What do you think? Uh, hit us up at Mayhem Show on the Twitters, on the on the Facebook groups, um, and uh, on Google Plus. Let us know what, what times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Wow. That's a place you can do it too. Wow, wow. that was aggressive. Riz, um, said, Riz said the email, and I got excited. So, I didn't say. I just said good times. Uh, good good times. times. Good times. That did it. Yeah. I was. I'm waiting for Conky to come on and just brum, 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 brum. <laughs> Guys, hey, I want to give a shout out to our friends. Wait, some of them are here. InsertCoinToBegin.com. They're doing something in a couple weeks. It's uh, Extra Life. It's a 24 hour marathon. I'm going to participate in. We're going to be right here. I'm going to be right in the studio. I want to bring my Xbox down to that TV right there. We're going to hook everything up. We're going to be streaming. Those guys are going to be on Hangout for 24 hours. This is all for a good cause. We have picked the uh, St. Vincent's Hospital in Erie, PA, Children's Hospital, helping them up. And I believe Extra Life, it does. The money goes towards uh, putting games in in playrooms, in, in, in their, their playrooms, playroom. and everything yeah. to help oh, out man. those sick kids pass the, the reason, time. The reason why we picked this is because of their introduction to to the game room. Mm -hmm. uh, we were re we were reading the uh, the playthrough, and it was more or less appalling to hear that they have a Game Boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, wow. And some video games. Don't they have like a Super Nintendo or something? Yeah, that's probably. Wow. It. They have like a wow. Super Nintendo, a Game Boy, and, it, and that's the difference. Because like we we've been part of this. Um, there's a great uh make room for kids that 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 pick girl that's church dot net dot com uh um does mm -hmm. around here and and you know Chachi's been a part of it. They brought Xboxes, all kinds of stuff into the Children's Hospital here in 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 Pittsburgh. And they get that every year. They they raise thousand like ten thousand dollars every year for new video games. It's it's crazy, but but it's great because there's so many kids that go through there. But we're picking a small school that has or a small hospital that has so much less. Um, so we're really hoping to help out there uh, and and kind of brighten that up. You know, we, you know, it's it's cool not to not to concentrate just on the big cities that do get a lot of attention, a lot of help, anyways. So, right. um, so that's what we're doing, and we're going to help that out. Uh, so please join us. Go to insertcoin to begin.com or over here at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. There's an extra life banner there on the right. 
Um, you click on that. Pick one of us. Uh, it's a weird thing, but yeah, yeah. pick pick one Pixar. of us. You want to donate to go for yourself, Riz. Go pick Poor guy needs your help too. Uh, yes, I don't have anybody who's donated to me yet. No, Aww, but uh, I, I know I, I, I pick sword. I don't care. I don't care. Well, yeah, one, uh, this is the first year I'm doing it. So I'm usually in the shadows with Chachi plays or trying to help you guys out or something. Um, so I, I don't even care. I, as long as you guys make your goal. And right now, you guys are um, about 40 we're percent. Yeah, you're 40 percent to your yeah. goal. So that's awesome. Uh, so I hopefully I have like 50 bucks to go. Hopefully, Michael. hopefully we can do that. We can shatter that, and uh, we can help out a bunch of kids. And we'll have fun doing it here on the stream. Uh, either way, October twenty fifth. Uh, so please go over there, uh, in, uh, wrestlingmayhemshow dot com. Click the extra life banner. Donate some money, even if it's like a, a buck, just a buck. We're gonna be just very sleepy. Put something in there. Put so, yeah. Then we have hell in the cell that night too. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, Go check that out. And thanks I thought a lot. it was this weekend. No, nope. it's next weekend. Oh, we have two weekends. Oh, all next weekend. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, wrestling this weekend, super guys. Super tired. Oh, my God. And I can't believe I forgot to mention our Patreon supporters. I am so sorry. Uh, our friends at TheWrestlingRevolution.com and Bo Diggity. Woo! Sorry for the late mention, guys. Woo! I got it in there. He was born in St. Vincent's Hospital, by the way. He yeah. was. That's all happening. It's coming together. We are in fact in that um, Bill Murray movie, right? He actually told me about that. Uh, Right when I said we were going to do that, he said, oh, that's where I was born. So if you want to help out future Bo Diggities, (laughs) donate the me or Bobby. He he was born inside the Bill Murray movie. We actually know quite a few people from Erie. Yeah. So I bet we know a lot of people that were born in that hospital. Mm-hmm. So, hey, um, pairing this up, I hope you're on video for this really cool picture they included with this. But in uh, the next James Bond, the 24th in the series, Dave Bautista is cast as yeah. a henchman. He looks like Steve Blackman in that picture. He a does. A little Dave bit. Bautista. I want um, Steve Blackman to be the next Bond henchman. <laughs> uh, LB, I know you talked about this on Panel Riot. Do you want to kind of give uh, a quick uh, summary of your thoughts on this? Yes, I do. It's two of my favorite things coming together, James Bond and professional wrestling. Uh, it's actually not confirmed yet. He, it's not confirmed that he's been cast, um, but the the going rumor is that uh, Batista will be playing a henchman named Hinks, H-I-N-X. And uh, there was a movie that came out called Blue is the Warmest Color, and they uh, they cast a French girl from that for the... Uh, femme fatale oui, oui. Of, uh, of the James Bond film. So oh, oui, oui. Uh, I think it's great. It's a, it's, um, it's a step in the right direction for Batista. I think he's uh, better served uh, pursuing an acting career because uh, he's a better actor than he's a wrestler. Let's be mm-hmm. honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I think it's great. Give me, like, I don't hear more about those thoughts. Uh, uh, the same day as this podcast comes out, uh, panelriot.com or search for it on uh, uh, iTunes there as well. And I really think he's he's not somebody that I think is going to benefit from like doing a dramatic role of any sort, but I think he's definitely somebody who's going to, you know, in that right henchman or or Drax kind of position. Mm-hmm. Do okay. He could he could uh, if they put the right spin on it, he could be you know known for that role in the same way that um, like you're a. Uh, 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 Jaws, you know what I mean? Not yeah. Jaws the shark, but Jaws the James Henchman. You know what I mean? The mm-hmm. guy, who, the mm-hmm. actor who just recently passed was in Happy Gilmore, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that was yeah. Jaws. I didn't even realize when I watched that. Yeah. Or a odd job. Did... You know what I mean? He could be one of the legendary uh, Bond henchmen. If you look back on the recent um, recent few uh, Bond oh. films, the henchman didn't really have a, a large role. I wanted him to be more like Nick Nack. <laughs> ah, Nick Tabasco. No, it's Tabasco. Tabasco. That's it. <laughs> Tabasco. It's James Bondic podcast. Yeah. That's how I know that. <clears throat> in, uh, in the in the film where Nick Nack, who is a tiny Daddy midget, what? he's introduced by um, the villain yelling for him and asking him to bring Tabasco, <laughs> which is Christopher Lee. James Bond fun. You should guys should watch it. Yeah. Awesome. Other kind of uh, uh, news from earlier tonight that we discussed. Um, I know I know we went over with uh, Mikey from the Morning Freak show here in Pittsburgh on Boss Battle about the 2K f- 
2K15 news. Uh, Bobby, you want to fill us in on what's going there real quick? Um, two things from that they released. Um, John Cena is cultivating the soundtrack, curating the soundtrack. Curating. Um, I love that you're WWE saying cultivating. Or he's growing it, and he's, he's tendering to it, and he's caring to it. Guys, remember how we said that Florida Georgia Line might be on it because they mentioned country? Mm-hmm. They're not on the soundtrack! Yay! Yay! Woo! Um, but they, yeah, there, but, is a, there is a special feature in the game where you can hear nothing about them talking about their music over the match that you're competing in. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's uh, Florida Georgia Line mode. Yeah, <laughs> and, you can, and you can only get it through the downloadable uh, season pass. <laughs> and speaking of season pass, uh, guys, Paige is in the game. Woo-hoo! <laughs> but, 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 she's free. No, she's not. She's, she's, she's actually not free. Um, $24.99 to get Paige. You have to buy the season pass. You have to buy yeah. half. So basically, oh. basically, you buy Paige for $24.99. And then you get the rest of the DLC for free. <laughs> well, it's, it's get, a great you, deal. You get um, other things besides Paige, Bobby. No, you get Paige for four, twenty-four ninety-nine. Then you get the rest so, of the stuff for free. Oh, so dirty, Bobby! You get Bobby, the rest mm-hmm. of the stuff for free. I, I and she comes. She comes with a Pikachu bed. You can just <laughs> wish. That's not true. <laughs> you wish. For twenty-four dollars, and you can do anything you want with her. Yep. But uh, and 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 go, but going back to the soundtrack, John Cena has has a few songs on it. Um, that that are yeah, that yeah, are some fucking new John Cena um, music. Finally, just like just like Justin Timberlake, everybody wanted jo- and begged John Cena to get back in the studio. Ten years later, just like Justin Timberlake, John Cena went back in the studio. Um, I I like John Cena's album. Yeah, oh yeah, his first oh, one. Yeah. I, I honestly really like his album a lot. Like I You just like Bumpy Knuckles. No, <laughs> no, no, that's my bag. That Bumpy Knuckles is my is my jam, man. <laughs> Bumpy, Bumpy Knuckles is my spirit animal. That's hey, right. hey, Bobby, Bobby. Chain gang is the click, all right? Yeah. Chain gang I'm, I'm, is I know the I know you're a bad bad man. <laughs> but uh but yeah, and, and, and and I mean, like the the DLC sounds interesting. There's like a whole bunch of DLC. They're gonna have managers for it, like Bobby the Brain Heenan, uh, uh, Jimmy Sensational Hart, Sherry. Sensational Sherry's gonna be on it. Scary um, Sherry. And, and and there's NXT people, um, Emma, uh, the Ascension, JBL for some reason. Because he was the commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> but when when you think of JBL, you don't automatically think NXT general manager because no. he's not that anymore. I don't care but, about any of those DLCs. I want Corey Graves. That's right. He's in there. Yeah, he's in yep. there. But, uh, yeah, well, but, uh, um, also, they have the WCW one. Yeah, there's WCW one with uh, William know? Regal, Bam Bam Bigelow, Dallas Page. Lord Steven Regal, Lord baby. Lord Steven Regal. Um, like, yeah, yeah, and, I like those, but it's a very weird like lineup. And there's a Mark Henry mode. Huh. And yeah, there's this one, this one. Next one's creepy. And there's a one more match mode with Christian. Uh, yeah, I can't believe they used that story. <laughs> He's trying and, to put it over on special. And all the like great storylines to and, use. And, and and the really cool thing is the Ultimate Warrior thing. Uh, you get to tra- track the career from Ultimate Warrior from when he went through WWE and then come back. I hope he uh, never so. is able to be pinned. Because that would, be track, that would be tracking the career of the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> you want to know why like the, the one more match one is super weird? Because I was reading through it, and like the list of like unlockable things that come with it is... <laughs> like, the big selling point is, like, guys, you'll get the SmackDown Arena. You'll get <laughs> Over the Limit 2011 Arena. Yes! <laughs> yes, Thank God! God. And guys, this is like... Please. And wait for it. Capital Punishment 2011. This is like Christmas! Yes, please. Christian what? Christmas. Wasn't was Capital Punishment John Cena versus Scared of Spiders R Truth? Yeah. Oh yes, it was. Oh, they need a John. They need a the uh, acrophobia. Mode. Oh no, you know what they need in the Mark Henry in the Mark Henry line? They need his uh, retirement blazer <laughs> from that yeah. segment yeah. of John Cena. We need a reenactment of that. Apparently, yeah. the giant yeah. hand would be a playable character. <laughs> What's that, Eamon? Apparently, from what I can tell with the Mark Henry one, it goes up to the match with Ryback at WrestleMania. Oh my god, you guys were serious? There isn't a Mark Henry mode? Yeah, there's... Yeah, it's, it was basically, making that up. it's like one no, of the rivalry no. things. Basically, you relive 
whatever rivalry he was at. Yeah. So you well, get to have well, if, if, if I wanted to step <laughs> yeah. into the giant clunky shoes of any professional wrestler, it's <laughs> Remember his big three pay-per-view match series with Big Show Lunchbox? Oh, God. Oh, you get to break the ring. Woo-hoo. Can and you unlock you D-Lo as a manager? Oh, uh, don't, don't D-Lo, like D-Lo best friend mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the more... Oh, if they sold a WWE 2K15 edition of uh, a, a Mark Henry slash D'Lo Brown edition, it would come encased in like the chest protector. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That'd be amazing. Oh my god, everything about that. <laughs> Every everything about that. It is right. awesome. Oh wow. On that note, guys, hey, we gotta clean up here. We gotta get out. Um, but I uh, want to know what you guys learned from wrestling this week. I know it's tough. We didn't talk raw. There's a reason. There's um, a reason because Raw's been really bad. It's been really There's bad, no and Mike reason. and I talked about that last night on the on the Raw wrap up. So go check that out on YouTube or or on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed on iTunes and Stitcher, so you can get everything that we're doing throughout the week. We have five shows coming out every week, guys. Five. When did this happen? Three ain't enough. We need five. We need five. Ah. I do two of them. Riz does two of them by himself sometimes. By my damn self. There you go. So what'd you Yay! learn, from Riz? What'd you learn from What'd you learn from uh, wrestling this week, Bobby? I was extremely tired during Raw last night because I didn't sleep the night before. Okay. I learned that Randy Orton is a sleep aid. <laughs> Yeah. And his match with <laughs> Dolph Ziggler, <laughs> I wanted it to be done so fast. And it just kept going and going and going. That being said, that was a sweet-ass RKO. And then the ran the match. That was. I was going to say, that's, that's, was say, that's kind of a sad thing because that was one of the best matches. Of the it, night. It, mm. This was so – and, and we, knew, we knew the outcome. We knew Randy Orton was going to hit the RKO from nowhere, which was impressive. But we knew he was going to win. And I was yep. just like, just get over with it. I'm done. I want to go to well, bed. Well, even worse, Bobby, is having that and then having Seth Rollins attack Dolph Ziggler after the match. Yeah. So when Seth Rollins has a match with Jack Swagger, you wonder what's going to happen when Andy Gordon's at ring yep. They take 15 fucking minutes and to the, get to the climax of that. And then like, every, they had an open house party during the main event between John Cena. And, like, everybody yeah. and their mother came out. Because it's it's the same people that have been every in every main event of Raw for the past yeah. month and a half. Because guess they announced what the uh, main event for next week's Raw is going to be, guys. Hold on to your seats for this. It's going to be John Cena and Dean Ambrose. <gasps> oh, against Seth Rollins, Kane, and Randy Orton. That's not Are you fair. Sure they're not charging for that, Aitman. Never That's before. Not... Never again. That's not fair. That's three on two. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Eamon, do you think they'll try and make it fair by making Seth Rollins start that match? Because that will be new and innovative. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how they're going to overcome the monster that is Kane, guys. <laughs> see no evil. <laughs> see no evil. Go uh, see no raw. Ugh. Yeah, kinda, it's getting bad, guys. It's getting hey, bad. I got a question real quick. Yeah. Can John Cena see no evil? I would assume so. That was a bad joke. I'm okay, sorry. Mike, I'm what tired. about you? What did you learn? <laughs> um, I learned that watching two hours of Total Divas in a row, I finally figured out Tyson Kidd. Hmm. So um, Tyson Kidd, when uh, Natty was bitching to him about getting him back on the road, Tyson Kidd said he had an idea. Now keep in mind, this was filmed a while ago. Tyson Kidd's gimmick on TV, his kayfabe gimmick, is Natty's gimmick on Total Divas. It's, I think it's how he thinks everyone perceives Natty on that show, and he's decided mm-hmm. to amp that up on every program that he's on, and that's why he's one of the best heels in the company, because so Natty like is an awful, awful fucking person. <laughs> wow. Seriously, if you if you watch Total Divas and then watch the stuff he does on NXT and main event and everything, it is oh my like it was mind shattering to me that I figured this out. Wow, Tyson Kidd had cats on his t- uh, trunks tonight. He does. He has cat kick pads. <laughs> Damon, what'd you learn? Who? Damon. Who? Damon. 
Oh, they oh. cut off. Uh, yeah, uh, I learned from wrestling this weekend. I'm not sure if you guys mentioned it in the Battle of the Glory talk. Um, a good uh, pay-per-view can be ruined by super racist commentary. Oh my god, I forgot to mention that. Super racist commentary. Super, super racist. Again, Taz it's Taz. Taz. But still. I, I, it's Taz. Wait, wait but, is this the I part where he kept talking about sushi? Talking about sushi. No. Uh, there's a no. from Russell one named Andy Wu who wrestles in like a mass sort of thing. And uh -huh. he's like, I, that's not a guy who, who's named Andy Wu would look like. Andy Wu sounds like someone that would work in a dry cleaners. Yep. Oh. He literally said that. Yeah. On uh -huh. air. As a face. Too soon. This is, I, and I hate, here's the thing. As a commentator, I, I have been the point to try to not shit on other commentators because I know how difficult Taz, it is. Taz is not a commentator. Go ahead. God damn away. it, Taz. <laughs> if, I ever was, if, ever, if I was ever that racist on the air, I would be fired. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, you're, like, and you're on DVD. And they, oh my God, I can't even. <laughs> like, it's not like they're recording live, too. Yeah, it's, like they should. They really need to when they're doing their commentary. They should be like, "Hey, uh, Tess, Tess, um, that was kind of super racist. Can we can we do a recut like, of that?" Here, why didn't they rehearse? Rehearse? Like, you know, like the Riz, Riz, guys, the Riz guys have a script. Riz, because that would take planning. Because that would take planning. Very true. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways, Riz, while we were on you, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh, I have so many that so much I've learned over the past week, sort. Mm. Um, but but I'm gonna have to uh, steal a line from Mr. John Cena. I learned that they should never have, they should have never let Cena spit with Wiz Khalifa. Um. <laughs> what? It's in the Awkward song. silence. It's in the song. It's in, it's the, in song. the song. All day, which is on the WWE 2K15 soundtrack. Hmm. Yeah, that's gross. Oh, oh, okay. Do they not so, know? By the way, it, it's yeah, not. It's do not, they not realize? Do they not realize how Ebola spreads? Oh. Oh. oh, all right, Eamon. Eamon, Eamon, yes. you're gonna get fired from the main show. No, no, don't that, that, is, that is how a bull Wheels, Amen. hold on, Wheels. What did you learn, please? <laughs> Wheels, <laughs> right? He is right. <laughs> you're just trying to save Eamon. No, um, no, 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 no. <laughs> you, you're horrible, Eamon. Shame on you. But what did I learn <laughs> from Russell? It is please. how a bull is spread. <laughs> <laughs> by, sp by spitting hot rock. Spitting hot fire. Spitting hot fire. <laughs> but okay, what did I learn from wrestling this week? I learned that old women getting power driven can cause such a stir on Facebook. And I wish the Mitchell family the best of luck. And hope daily they get better. There. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, liven this up a little. No, yeah, we, yeah, really on, we really ended the show on a somber note, guys. Yeah, we really ended. Should on I the blow my nose again? Driving. <laughs> LB, what'd you learn? I am. Uh, I learned that I am being punished for my hubris, Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Because on Saturday night, <laughs> I drank a number of vodka tonics. You did. And I sat down and I bared my soul to uh, to Jennifer Carlin's Whoa. friend of the wife, or wife of the friend of the show in the mainstream media. The wife. And uh, I explained to her that, you know, it, it wasn't, uh, I wasn't trying to antagonize her. But it's just how wrestling works. That John Cena was probably going to win. He was probably going to get the to the thing and fight Seth Rollins, and he was probably going to end up winning the contract somehow. And uh, and not only did that not happen, John Cena is now fighting Randy Orton <laughs> in a sit in the bathtub and slit your wrists match. <laughs> like that, I posted this on Twitter. Thanks, Internet. This is your fault. Mm-hmm. That's true. 
your backing of Dean Ambrose gets us a Randy Orton John Cena match that we don't want. Yeah, so um <laughs> sorry. Sorry for my hubris. It's okay. It's okay, Lunchbox. Wow. Wow. Usa. That's something. So, so Sorg, what, what did you learn? I learned that I can't escape pro wrestling at a wedding. <laughs> yep. Uh, Motherfucker, oh, yeah. you were at a wedding with me. I was, Sorg. I was in a wedding Sorg. with you and Matt Carlin's. I, I, I would say about 25% of our, our ride up and back was talking wrestling. Mm-hmm. Was there a wedding gift that had a snake in it? Oh, no, I didn't open them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't open them. But uh, but uh, I also and I also learned that Baltimore is apparently a hotbed for pro wrestling, as the drunk friend of uh, friend of the show, Mac Carlin's, told me at the bar that night. <laughs> and also, LB and I need to uh, teach them how to chop. Yes. Yes. Oh no. Yes, they do. <laughs> Teach them how to do it responsibly. They're they're lucky. They're lucky we left early. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, do you, guys, do you guys have a designated chopper? No, we would have. We would have. We we're waiting until yeah. we left the fancy library, and as not to upset anybody, but that didn't work out. Um, guys, on that, hey, thanks everybody for joining us. I know it gets pretty crazy here at the end, but these are my friends enjoying <laughs> wrestling with each other. From across the country. Wait, Wait. what? Um, Jinx. Cra- phrasing? Hmm. Chew on that for the week. Anyways, mm-hmm. uh, you can phrasing, join us. Sorry. We're WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can join us every Tuesday at Live.SorgatronMedia.com as well at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Indie Mayhem Show comes up at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Central for Heyman. For instance, uh, you can subscribe to us on <laughs> iTunes, Stitcher, uh, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, YouTube, of course, for the video version of this show. Um, you can also follow us on uh, Twitter at Mayhem Show. Let us know any comments of anything we discussed on the show, whether you agree, disagree. Um, just don't like Mad Mike's haircut for some reason. I don't know. Uh, the you're, the, you're the one in front of me. You're the one hey, in front hey, of me. Hey, what? let's be honest. It does fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh no i don't know i'm sorry mike no it's fine it's fine i'm, just, I, I'm gonna have to shave my fucking head we're making him paranoid oh, please, there's don't. no reason i swear there's no reason for the comment i swear you're just the person <laughs> in front of me. i could have said anybody i could have said anybody. bobby's in heat <laughs> i got that's why i ordered that pikachu bed <laughs> No. Oh, exactly. oh, 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 I'm gonna take oh, it to the daycare center. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Thanks to basic things. Basic Bobby, don't sickness. Don't use volt tackle. Don't use volt tackle. Basicsickness.com. Go check him out for some free music. Bobby, he's a splash. Um, you go. Please remember to check out uh, us at <laughs> prowrestlingtees.com/slash WMS and patreoncom slash show for uh, more ways to support the show. Get sweet stuff. Go to wrestlingmayhemshow.com and click the extra life banner to support that endeavor as well. I see Mike blowing his nose silently now. Thanks to everybody at Mad Mike4883, at Bobby F. J. Town, at DJ Lunchbox, at Amon 2 please at Hot Wheels RWA, and at B. E. Riz. I'm at Sorgatron. Pen we'll Riot. see you guys next week. Penriot.com. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.